Hello and uh, welcome to the Kibrid uh, training uh, channel. We continue today our live uh, series uh, presentations with a presentation about database migration using uh, Scriptella, Apache DDL Utils and of course uh, Kubrid. We'll take a quick look at uh, what is Scriptella, what is uh, Apache DDL Utils and uh, then we'll see uh, a demonstration of how to perform a database migration using um, all these uh, tools. Now, if you um, uh, remember, we already have uh, two separate uh, presentations about um, uh, Kubernetes support implemented in Apache DDL Utils and uh, Scriptella. So if you are uh, not familiar with uh, this open source um, uh, softwares, then uh, please take a look at those presentations to learn more. Uh, for now, we'll just remind you that Scriptella is, an, um, is a software dedicated to performing uh, ETL, which uh, means extract, transform and load. Um, to put it very simple, it's about uh, uh, extracting the data from your database, performing some transformations on uh, that data and then load it back in the target database. While uh, Apache DDL Utils um, is about working with uh, uh, database definition uh, uh, files, uh, database definition language uh, DDL. The whole point of uh, this demonstration is to show you the power of combining together Scriptella and DDL Utils to have a very uh, uh, nice and, and powerful way to perform database migration. And when we say database migration, we are not referring only from Kubernetes to Kubernetes. Using these uh, two tools together, we can perform the migration from other databases. You can perform a MySQL database migration uh, to Kubernetes. And not only that, this, because uh, they can achieve much more, not just um, exact replicas of the database. It's time to, to take a look and, uh, uh, and see uh, in action Scriptella, Apache and Kubernetes uh, working uh, uh, together. I have um, already prepared um, uh, uh, some demo files to show you. Uh, for uh, keeping this presentation uh, uh, simple, uh, this time I'm going to use as uh, a source and target databases two Kubernetes databases. Uh, once again, uh, yeah, instead of uh, Kubernetes as a source database, you can use uh, uh, any other databases for which DDL uh, Utils and uh, Kubernetes and um, Scriptella have support, which is most of the um, available uh, databases. Source database DemoDB, target database uh, DemoDB2. What we want is to take the, the database objects we have in the DemoDB, which mean the well-known uh, uh, tables we have here and uh, uh, migrate them to the demo uh, DB2 uh, uh, database with uh, Scriptella and uh, Apache DL Utils. This is uh, uh, the scope for which I have prepared uh, the file. Now let's uh, take a look. First uh, thing I want to mention is that because both Scriptella and DDL Utils have support for ANT. Uh, and uh, uh, is the perfect way to, to easily uh, group uh, them together and you, you can have only one uh, ant file which will perform all the operations. I have defined in my file a couple of targets. The first target is uh, write ddl to xml which extracts the ddl schema from the modb database and writes it uh, in the db schema xml file. Then the next target is create DDL from XML, which takes the uh, DDL information extracted in the uh, previous target and use them to recreate the structure in the demo DB2 database. And finally, I have a tasks, um, which is used to migrate the data. So the first two targets are using Apache DDL utils and the uh, data movement is implemented using Scriptella. And actually, the details are in uh, ETL 11 XML file. Uh, let's uh, uh, take a look of what's inside. And here we are. It's quite easy. We have an uh, input connection and an output connection corresponding to demo db demo db2 database. Uh, 
uh, for uh, making uh, things uh, going uh, faster. In this demonstration I have only uh, choose to migrate the data in the nation uh, table. In a real life uh, um, uh, scenario, you probably have to, to migrate uh, uh, all the tables for which you have replicated uh, the schema. It's uh, pretty easy. Uh, let's also take a look at the uh, properties I have defined for the um, uh, connection. As expected, I have uh, the GDBC uh, parameters, connection parameter for demo DB and demo DB2 uh, database. Um, let's uh, uh, make sure that we don't have any remaining files from a previous uh, run. I have also prepared an easy to use uh, command line script. You just call it and everything um, will be done automatically. Actually, uh, we can uh, take a look here to see the sequence of the targets in the proper order. And uh, that's it. So after running uh, uh, this, uh, this script, it is expected that we uh, have in the uh, demo DB2 uh, table the same structure as in demo DB. And moreover, the, uh, uh, the data in the nation table is being also um, migrated to the target uh, database. Let's not uh, waste any more time and just um, execute the uh, script. Here we are, uh, step by steps. The, the schema is being generated, output it, the data uh, is being loaded in the, in the target uh, database. And that's it. Now all we have to do is uh, take a look. Yes, this is the well-known uh, scheme. So everything uh, has been uh, ported as uh, we uh, expected. Uh, this pretty much concludes uh, uh, the demo I have prepared. Remember, um, if you want to download the files, you just go to Qbrid uh, Apps and Tools uh, sections and you'll find uh, these demo files available for uh, download. Uh, concluding this uh, presentation, uh, uh, remember what we uh, learn and show you today is how we can uh, use together uh, Scriptella and uh, Apache DLBs to perform uh, a database uh, migration. We hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation and found it um, useful. Thank you very much for your attention and bye bye.